What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. As lawn care gets bigger and bigger on social media, people are starting to get exposed to really nice lawns and the equipment that people are using to maintain these really nice lawns. And the piece of equipment that probably piques people's interest the most is the real mower. If you really want to mow low and maintain a golf course quality lawn, then a real mower is an essential piece of equipment. And in today's video, we're going to cover five tips that'll have you mowing real low in no time. All right, bonus tip before we get started, the grass types that are traditionally considered conducive to good real mowing are Bermuda grass, zoysia, Kentucky bluegrass, and ryegrass. Okay, here we go. Tip number one is to set a realistic budget. But before you can pick your budget, you have to decide which type of real mower you're interested in. And to me, there's really three main categories. You have your consumer models, your used greens mowers, and then your all-in-one systems. The consumer models are gonna be McLean, True Cut, and California Trimmer. Your used greens mowers are going to be Toro, John Deere, and Jacobson. And then the two all-in-one systems are Swordman and Allet. So after you choose your category, the next thing that you have to decide is whether you're going to go the new or used route. If you choose new, even at the low end, new consumer models are going to cost at least $1,300. And then on average, they probably sit around that $2,500 mark. And then the all-in-one systems, they can reach over $7,000 and they probably sit at that $5,000 mark on average, but that's not what I chose to do. I actually went the used greens mower route and I picked up my Toro Greensmaster three years ago on Facebook Marketplace for $800. Now in 2022, the price of everything has gone up and these used greens mowers are no exception. So if you looked on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or some of these online turf equipment auctions now, it's a lot more common to see these listed in that $1,500 to $2,500 range. But if you are hyper vigilant and you're constantly checking and you're willing to take a machine that might be a little older or a little bit more beat up, then it's still possible to find a deal under $1,000. They're just a lot more few and far between than they used to be. Now those used consumer models, on the other hand, that's a completely different story because you can frequently find those for like under $800 on Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist. And again, if you just check constantly, then eventually you'll find a good deal that you can jump on. Tip number two is a two-parter, but the first part's gonna deal with these used greens mowers here, and that's going to be to pick a machine that you can easily find replacement parts for. And from everything I've read and everything that I've been told, you should pick a Toro or a John Deere because it is a lot more difficult to find parts for a Jacobson. The second part of tip number two is just be prepared for the extra maintenance involved in owning a real mower. So that is backlapping compound and that's what I use at home to keep my reel nice and sharp. But every once in a while, you have to take your reel in to get a grind put on it. So my advice would be to call your local golf courses and hopefully one of them allows you to bring your mower in and they will grind your reel for you. And if you can do that, that will be a really beneficial connection for you to have moving forward. Tip number three is to do a sand leveling project on your lawn. And you can really do this whether you plan on reel mowing or not. But the reason that it's really important in reel mowing is that you're cutting the grass so short that if you have a really uneven spot, it can cause the mower to dip and make a scalp mark. And obviously scalp marks are unsightly and they don't look good. But if you have a nice level lawn, it allows you to really enjoy the mow. Tip number four, and this one mainly just applies to the used greens mowers because most of the consumer and all-in-one models are gonna have a lever that allows you to change the height of cut all at once. But if you have the used greens mower, you're gonna need some sort of height of cut gauge. And I actually splurged for a more expensive one off of the AccuProducts website, but you can even make one at home if you wanted to. But bottom line is you need some sort of tool that allows you to change the height of cut of your mower. The fifth and final tip for mowing real low is to tick up that mowing frequency. So the lower that you mow, the more often you're gonna have to mow. So you're looking at mowing at least twice a week and in reality, probably even three and four times a week. And even if you really, really like mowing, that might burn you out. So you might wanna consider putting your lawn under regulation. And to do that, I use a product called Teenex, which is a plant growth regulator. And what this product does is it slows down the vertical growth of the grass 
and it allows me to go longer in between mows. Now, I'm not gonna start using this till it gets a little bit warmer outside and the grass completely fills in, but it is a lifesaver during the summer months. If you think real mowing is something you'd be interested in and you still have questions, leave those in the comment section below. If you like the video, please leave me a like. If you're enjoying the content and you wanna to continue to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.